The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at wheatpeatrealagriculture.com, and what a year! Man, the temperature goes up, the temperature goes down. We're trying to grow the best wheat crop ever, and this is the year to do it. Oh my gosh, $8 wheat. Can you imagine? We all are wishing we didn't pre-sell anything because it just keeps going up. So every bushel counts. We're at that time where we have to start making the final decisions and we really need to make sure we know when we're at flag leaf stage because keeping that flag leaf clean and making as much wheat yield as possible is critical. So how do we do that? It's actually pretty simple. We just take one of the main stems out of the wheat canopy and we start crushing the stem. We're so fortunate that wheat stems are hollow. And it's true for winter barley. Do you believe it? We have winter barley already in head at the Harrow Research Station on May the 5th. That winter barley plot might well be combined on June the 15th. If you, like we are so far 10 days ahead of normal right now. Whether we stay 10 days ahead or not is another thing. But we just crush up that stem. We find the first node. So we know already we're at growth stage 31, first node. Then we crush above that first node. The stem's still hollow. We crush up and we find, ah, there's the second node. So now we're at growth stage 32. So how do we know if this is the flag leaf or not the flag leaf? It's quite simple. We just follow that leaf down to the first node. Find out which leaf, the leaf sheath, actually comes down to that first node. So that is the leaf that comes down to the first node. The leaf sheath is attached at the node. That is leaf number four. So if that's leaf number four, that's leaf number three. This one's the penultimate leaf. And man, if we're at growth stage 32, the penultimate leaf coming out like this, and we're waiting for that last nitrogen application, that's the time, because I don't want to burn that penultimate leaf. It's sticking straight up. If you're using dry, it's not such a big concern, but man, it, if we burn the penultimate with 28% with that last application, because we're trying to time for yield and not have too lush a canopy, now is the time to go. Plus, the next leaf will be the flag leaf. So now, as soon as we see the flag leaf, we're okay here, we don't see the flag leaf. As soon as we see the flag leaf, no more weed control. It's too high a risk, it's revenge spraying. Even now it's probably revenge spraying, but many growers being held out of the, the field because of low night temperatures still want to get out there, still want to do that job. If you haven't got a fungicide on yet and you're planning on a two fungicide program, mostly I'm not sure we need two fungicides, so you need to scout. Look for the powdery mildew, look down in the canopy, go to the protected areas of the field, go to the overplants, the double planted areas of the field, look in the lushest areas. Varieties, quite a difference in powdery mildew with varieties this year. Some, a lot, are staying quite clean. Certain varieties really seem to be susceptible. If you have powdery mildew, if you have septoria, then we want to keep that penultimate, that leaf number two, and the flag leaf clean. Remember that fungicides don't have good mobility in the plant, so we get that penultimate, and once that penultimate is kind of fully out and we see that flag leaf starting to spike, to me, that's the perfect time for that first fungicide application if you haven't already done it with the weed control, because that will protect the penultimate, it will stop the movement up the plant, and that gives us enough time for the flag leaf to come out and will protect the flag leaf with the T3 fungicide. So know your staging, find that first node. As soon as you find that first node, follow the leaf sheath down. That's leaf number four. Time everything from there and make sure whatever you do, $8 wheat, you gotta grow great wheat.